For some reason, this feels like a strange video to film or make, I guess. Um, but basically, I've been working on making a um, rheumatoid arthritis video, and when I was making it, I was looking up stuff about rheumatoid arthritis. And I actually found out that rheumatoid arthritis can cause lung inflammation. And I did not know that. <laughs> ah! Anyway, I have been having chronic chest pain for a year now. It's like a very tight, um, kind of sharp, dull sensation of uh, pain. It's hard to explain. I really don't under, like, I really don't know exactly how to explain the pain <sighs> um, accurately. But anyway, um, since I found that out, I thought it would be um, common sense to look into that. My doctor that it was, um, I mainly told about it was my um, neurologist. And if you saw my last video, you know I'm not going to see my new neurologist um, till April. And Cantrell just kind of, um, when I was seeing her, she totally ignored the majority of my symptoms, like I've said before, including my chest pain. And so, um, <sighs> It's one of the pain symptoms that has caused me a lot of like grievances um, with my mental health because I don't know what's causing it. It's very scary to feel out of breath and have so much pain there. Um, we, um, besides looking through the pots, we went to a heart doctor mainly because of my chest pain. And they didn't find anything. They cleared my heart. <laughs> so now that I know that um, RA can cause lung inflammation it's we're gonna go to my rheumatoid arthritis um, I stayed up all night because of how much pain I'm in so I'm, I'm extremely tired hopefully they'll have some answers I don't want it to be lung inflammation but I want an answer um, I'll take any answer I'm in so much pain um, heating pads can help sometimes but yeah apparently RA can cause lung inflammation and so we're gonna go see if that's what this is um, Reese's is giving me lots of cuddles Aren't you baby boy? Aren't ya? So yeah. Um, hopefully this leads to something. Um, because if we can get some treatment for whatever's wrong with me, like with my chest and stuff, that'd be really cool. So, um, wish me luck. I'm going with my wheelchair today. Um, my mom is gonna drop me off. Since I have the wheelchair, she can drop me off and go to the back home. Not, I mean, go back to work. So, that's a plus for her. Um, nah. she doesn't have to worry about me like getting hurt um, getting to the place because I have to go through like an elevator and elevators make me super dizzy so yeah I'm gonna update y'all later he's so cute isn't he Mwah. I love you baby boy I'll talk to y'all later bye so I just got out of the office and they took blood from me I had to go get an x-ray from this place but since her practice changed I can't do it in the hospital I have to go to a different facility which really sucks and so there's a possibility we might not be able to do it today um, which is gonna be even more shitty because I'm it's gonna be even learn more longer till I know what's wrong but um, it, she's looking into stuff associated with my arthritis to see if that's what it is um, and she's given me some pain medication that's at Brown's so hopefully I don't forget to get that before I leave Okay, hey, so um, today's vlog has, it's honestly kind of like just sucked, but that's kind of because like today really, really sucks. I've been hurting since November, and that's a full year. Like I know I, like, as in like my chest has been hurting for that long, and you know, I've told a few people that it's hurt and they've kind of like shrugged it off because they're like well it's just chest pain it can't be that bad but it's, it's really bad I'm an ugly crier I'm sorry Um, I've showed y'all like me crying before, but I don't really like showing it often because I want this channel to be positive. Because I am positive the majority of the time, and even right now I think I'm being positive. But I'm just upset, and I'm scared, and 
but I'm hurting. I've had a few people message me and be like, you always seem to like handle it so well, but they don't ever see me like this. They see me when I like decide to turn the camera on and I might not feel good, but I'm in enough mental state to be able to like hide the fact that I don't feel good. And I kind of feel like that's a disservice for a lot of the people on my channel because then they kind of... I've done it, I've watched other people's YouTube channels and I'm like, they seem to treat the acts and handle it so well. What's wrong with me? Why do I... Why don't I seem to treat, like, like handle pain well? And it's the, it's just the fact that you see the edited version of our life. You don't see when we're, like, throwing up and, like, in the, a ball from the pain and crying. And, like, you feel like you're dying because you're in so much pain. You don't see that stuff. And, like, part of it is because, like, who kind of wants to see that stuff? This chest pain is, I don't know how to explain it, it's just, it's really bad. It hurts. Like, my rib cage hurts from all here up to here, all the way up here, and then on this side, too. And then on these sides of my, my chest hurts too. And when I breathe in, it's like a sharp pain. But there's always this like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's like, I don't think dull is the right word. Like, I don't understand how people describe pain really. Unless it's like a sharp pain, that's easy to explain. But this pain is like... It's weird, it's deep, and like it makes me kind of feel like I'm dying, which sounds like I'm like getting it kind of might be it sounds like I'm being uh, melodramatic or something, but this is different because I'm not I'm being honest. Cantrell ignored it. And it wasn't this bad when it first started out. It was more of an annoyance. This is becoming debilitating. My channel has been starting to suffer because of this because I'm in so much pain. I'm like going between crying and not crying and crying and not crying. And it's caused me to have a lot of meltdowns. And this is not really a meltdown. I'm close to it. But I haven't meltdown yet, and if I have a meltdown, I'm gonna have a migraine, and I don't want that. <laughs> I got x-rays. Um, I don't know if I told you that or not yet. I don't know what order. I don't even know if I'll use this, if y'all will see this. Maybe this is just me getting it off my chest, I don't know. My doctor ordered, um, an x-ray, as I've said, and... I got the x-ray today, and she doesn't think anything's going to be seen in the x-ray. Um, but I think she's looking... I'll put the word up on the screen of what she's looking for from what she said. But I think it's some. I think it's something... Like, arthritis can apparently cause, like, three different um, lung I issues. And um, she's looking for the one with the P, which I'll put up again. Um... And I think I might have the one with the C, and I'll put that word up. I am, my brain's brilliant right now. Um, because my ribs hurt, and um, when I went in, I really didn't say my ribs hurt. I was just saying my chest, and um, I'm not good with explaining myself very well, especially when I was t I'm tired, and I was really tired because I because I had been up over twelve hours. At that point, I was in so much pain I couldn't sleep so I just went to the doctor because I was hoping that they would do something and give me some pain medication or something and they did give me pain medication but for some reason didn't get sent into the stupid um I don't know what you call them the, the, the drug people the ones the legal people the pharmacy 
And you know what's the really stupid part about it? Is I called four times. Three times they didn't have the prescription yet. So I waited. I stayed up after till about one and called after they had came from lunch and I and they're like we just sent it in so then I called the pharmacy again and I talked to a guy and I even record the messages because I know I'm not gonna remember them later but I know I'll remember like I always remember like a what do you call it um I'll remember like maybe like where's the camera like down like that much a little bit but like I'm not gonna remember the whole message and maybe they told me something I need to remember I don't know so I record all my doctors um, phone calls, I guess. Anyway, I listened to it, and he said he had the, um, prescription, and that he was going to get it. So then my mom goes up there, and apparently they didn't have the prescription or it even filled. So I don't know if maybe the person my mom was talking to was just didn't know how to do their job. My cat's in the litter box. Hold on. Um, or maybe the person on the phone just, um... Maybe they didn't know what I was asking. I don't I don't know what happened, but either way, I didn't get the pain medication that she was going to send in. And I, it wasn't something that was like, it wasn't like a hydrocodone or something powerful like that. It was like a stronger type of Advil, so I don't really think it would have done anything, but it, like at least I would have could have tried it. And I've explained this before on like a vlog, I don't remember which one. But when you have chronic illness, you, like, pretend your body is a cup or something. Um, your pain level has already filled your cup up to the top. And so when you add more pain to it, which is what this, like, new chest pain that I've had for a year has done. I had already had a lot of pain. This has added to that. And it's been spilling over. And it's been slowly being... It kind of just feels like someone is keep just, like, overfilling my cup of pain. <laughs> And, um, it's really hard to, like, cope when you're constantly in so much pain. I'm not a religious person, um, at all. Hi, Lily. Lily. Come here, baby girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't step on my chest. Come here. She just knocked over a bunch of cans in my room. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I'm not a relig religious person. And um, I really think that has helped um me cope with chronic illness but I think in other times it makes it a little a little bit harder I'm gonna kind of like talk in a sense of like I used to be religious and so when I was like in a religious mindset right now I would be asking like um and I, I'm worried of saying this because I'm an atheist and I don't want people to twist my words and like be like, oh, you're an atheist because you're mad at God. I'm not mad at God. That'd be like saying I'm mad at fairies. I'm not mad at fairies. A lot of religious people, would, um, when they're in some type of pain or going through something difficult in their life, a lot of the times they question their faith and they ask like, what good is this? What is this supposed to show me? Um, why would somebody... Like, why would God let me hurt this much? I don't have that. And I'm thankful I don't have that. Because, like, I don't... I I know that I'm sick because of genetics. And people... There are some people that are just sick in life. Lily, you're so noisy tonight. I'm just somebody that's sick. No one's doing this to me. No one's allowing me to hurt this bad. I'm just a sick person and I just have chronic pain. And it's kind of just what my life is going to look like. I am i don't blame anybody, it's just what my life is. Um, and I think that makes it easier when... I just think that makes it easier. But then there are also these times when like, I'm in so much pain and I logically, kn like I, I know that a doctor is a human being and that they can mess up 
they might not have your um, best interest in their heart. I don't know, maybe they didn't listen very well in school about your illness and they don't know something about it and that, like, you know, how many doctors have I told I've been having chest pain and know that I have rheumatoid arthritis? None of them thought to mention to me that that could possibly be what's wrong. You know, things like that. Doctors are humans. They can mess up. They might not find out what's wrong with me. That scares the living shit out of me. It does. Because I know they're human, like, um, praying to a god to make sure that my doctors have the information that they need isn't something I could do because it doesn't make any sense. And, um, I don't, I feel like people are going to take this the wrong way and, like, say, well, oh, you should believe in God because you can't just believe in God. I logically cannot believe in God. Um, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I have chronic illness. There's a lot of bigger reasons behind why I don't believe in God. I'm saying these things not for the people that are really like, religious. This is for people that are already not religious. And like, I don't know, like, just know that if you feel this way and you're not religious, it's okay. It's okay to be scared uh, that your doctor not might, like, not might find anything. I think it's a, like, um, a valid fear. Doctors make mistakes. When you're in medical limbo, you have to face that head on that, you know, um, it might take you a while because doctors are human and they, they're, you know, they don't know everything. The reason I bring this up is because I know I have a lot of, um, atheist, like, subscribers. It makes sense to be scared. I guess, like, I don't really know too much of, like, tools of coping. I guess I just try to trust my doctor as much as possible, um, and, you know, I will leave if I don't feel like they have my best interest at heart, and I showed that with Cantrell. It took me a little bit because I was holding on to the fact that she would help. I guess I just kind of, like, try to use my logic as much as possible when I'm in pain. Like, I've had this pain for a year now. I would think if it was going to kill me, it would probably have already killed me. Like, I, when I say that I, when you're in pain, it makes you feel like you're going to, like, you're dying, I feel like... A lot of people would laugh at that for some reason. Um, and I, I guess it's because, like, um, I've had some people that make have made fun of me in my life when I've showed them how much pain I'm in. And I'm honest to them with how much pain I'm in. And um, maybe that makes m m a little, probably a little bit is probably a little bit of, like, my ableist thinking because I still have some um, ableist, like, internalized ableism that I ha I'm dealing with. <laughs> that was instilled into me from a child till my adult age, if that makes sense. And, um, my self-love journey is never going to stop. It's going to go until the day I die. And I'm, you know, I'm still working on self-love. I'm still working on improving my life. And atheism has really helped me. Um, you know, there might be some times that are harder because I'm an atheist, but I would rather be honest with myself about what I believe based on the evidence and um, information that I have in today's day and um, that's the way that I like I try to deal with things I try to deal with things as um, best as possible and I feel like um, I don't know it makes me a little bit better at decision making I think because I'm like okay well, if this doesn't work what's the next plan looking into the fact that it could be rheumatoid arthritis that's my plan and that's what we're doing. We're do we did an x-ray, we're waiting on for the information from the x-ray. If that doesn't work, then we'll do another CT scan. Um, I've had one CT scan, but they were looking at something else, and that was... She wants to do another one. Anyway, after the CT scan, there's another thing, but I don't remember what it's called. You know, there is, um, I'll put the name up on the screen, that particular illness. I can't say it for the life of me right now. Um, I don't even really want to try. <laughs> um... um a lot of the times they'll do like x-rays and CT scans, but that doesn't get shown on that. So they might, she might just say it's that. Um, I don't know what she's going to say. Um, I just, I, I just know I need answers. Like, I'm not suicidal, but I do have suicidal thoughts and I want to make sure that people understand there's a difference. Like if I was suicidal, then I would be calling somebody to put me into, um, some kind of like, hospital to make sure I was safe. Um, 
suicidal thoughts are like intrusive thoughts and I don't want them. Um, and when you're in so much pain, it's really, I think it's understandable to have that amount of pain, just like you want to die and maybe you even feel like you're dying. And I don't even think at that moment that I'm afraid of dying. I'm more afraid of the pain. Which makes weird. It's weird because I'm feeling it. How can I be afraid of something that I'm feeling? But it kind of makes sense because it's so painful that I'm fearing something that I'm experiencing right now. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Like, this vlog is gonna. This is so long already, so I'm probably just gonna close this out with this rant. Um, and. We'll update y'all with the next video probably being like, I can't breathe, with the next video being like the x-ray stuff and probably going to the next doctor's visit because if I combine all of those it's going to be like a fucking movie. I guess my biggest advice, which is something that I've gotten from Claire Wineland by the way, um, I haven't talked about her on my YouTube channel because I didn't think I'd be able to without crying, but it's been a while, and I miss her, and I never met her, but she's taught me so much, you know, she, I'm probably going to misquote her a little bit, but, um, you gotta find the beauty through your pain, um, and I'm not saying, uh, I want to make sure that you know, realize we're not saying in your pain, because I don't, I don't really know if anybody can find beauty inside their pain. But you can definitely find beauty through your pain. Um, and I, that's something I strive to do every day. Even though I'm in, I might be crying and screaming or wanting to bang my head against the wall because I'm in that much pain or something. Like, I've never done that, but sometimes you feel like you want to do that. I just try to find something beautiful that day, and a lot of times it's my cats. Or my dog, or my ferrets, or... Maybe, where is it at? Sometimes it's my stuffies. I have all those stuffies up there. But my two favorite ones is my Ariel from Disney. And then I have a bladder, which is a happy bladder for my sad bladder. And I got it from Amazon. So, for like, I don't know. I'm 21, but I'm a three-year-old. And that's okay, you know. If a stuffed animal makes me feel better at the end of the day to cuddle with, then I damn well will cuddle with that stuffed animal. I guess the point of this vlog is that if you're in pain, whatever the reason is, how you cope with it, as long as you're not hurting yourself or others, is, is like, it's understandable. And it's valid. And you're not dealing with it any worse or any better than somebody else. Um, you, like, I don't know exactly how to like put this in words. It's just like I don't want anybody to ever think that I'm dealing with something better than them. The stuff because remember the stuff that you see is edited. Um a lot of the times I'm making a video and I will get so frustrated that I cut things out because I'm mad at myself because I'm tongue tied and it's the 16th time I've tried to say something. Um you know, you don't see that stuff because, um, like, I want this to be a positive thing for y'all. I want this to be, um, realistic too. So just know that it's perfectly normal to feel crazy because of pain. And I don't even really like using the word crazy, but that's kind of how you feel sometimes. You feel like you're nuts. Um, but I don't know. I'm a... I'm a beautiful, crazy person, I guess you could say. And I'm a really ugly crier, so I'm sorry about that. Rheumatoid arthritis, um, possibly being the cause of my chest pain, is a lead. And I'm going to follow the lead, and maybe it'll lead somewhere, maybe it won't. I hope everybody is having a better day than I am. If you're not, I'm so, so sorry. I wish... I hope your pain eases soon, or if possible, maybe like takes a break. Um, know you're beautiful, you're valid, and I love you. Have a nice day. Thanks for staying alive. Bye.